less than 15 kilometers from Africa, why doesn't Spain build a cross-sea bridge, no technology or no money? What impression do you have when you mention Europe and Africa? Most people may think that Europe and Africa are completely different, after all. Europe is in the Northern Hemisphere and Africa is in the Southern Hemisphere. Europe is mostly developed countries such as Germany, Britain, and France, while Africa is mostly developing countries such as Congo, Venezuela, etc. The main race in Europe is white, while most of Africa is black. However, even though the two have so many differences and are even separated by two hemispheres, in fact, Africa and Europe are only less than 15 kilometers apart. Observing the world map, we can find that the southernmost territory of Spain, located at the southernmost tip of the Iberian Peninsula, is only 14.3 kilometers away from the northernmost territory of Africa. If converted to a 14.3-kilometer highway, we can drive 60 yards in just 15 minutes to complete the entire journey. But there is no cross-sea bridge in this short distance. Why is this? Is it because of technical difficulties or funding? Let us learn more about it in this video. The 14.3-kilometer strait between Spain and Morocco is the famous Strait of Gibraltar. Historically, the Strait of Gibraltar has been a battleground for military strategists. In ancient Rome, the Strait of Gibraltar was the frontier of the Roman Empire. Locals called it Hercules Pillars, which means the end of the world. In the early 8th century AD, the Arab Umayyad dynasty invaded North Africa, and its first move was to occupy the Strait of Gibraltar. In 1492, Spain unified the long-divided Iberian Peninsula, ending the Arabs' hundreds of years of rule. Subsequently, Spain traded with all parts of the world through the Strait of Gibraltar. The Strait of Gibraltar became its only way to the New World, and Spain also ushered in its most prosperous moment. In 1704, during the Hundred Years' War between England and France, Britain occupied Gibraltar and established a military base here to defend it. To this day, Britain and France are still arguing over the ownership of Gibraltar. So what is the magic of the Strait of Gibraltar that makes leaders from generation to generation so obsessed with it, and once occupied, they must defend it with all their strength? By observing the map, we can find that if we only take the land route, we have to pass through several mountains from the Iberian Peninsula to Morocco, including the Alps. The Mediterranean is vast, pirates are rampant and difficult to control, and long-term sea voyages also face uncertainties such as huge waves. In addition to these two roads and air routes, there is no other choice from the Iberian Peninsula to Morocco. It can be seen that the Strait of Gibraltar is an important link connecting the European and African continents, and has great strategic significance. Now that we know that it is of great significance to build a cross-sea bridge on the Strait of Gibraltar, let's discuss the cross-sea bridge. In fact, cross-sea bridges are now commonplace. In 2005, my country successfully built and opened the first cross-sea bridge, the East China Sea Bridge, and the world's largest cross-sea bridge, the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge, is also in my country, with a total length of 55 kilometers. Cross-sea bridges are not rare, so why not build one across the Strait of Gibraltar? In fact, Spain has always wanted to build a cross-sea bridge, but it faces many problems during the construction process. Why not build the Gibraltar Strait cross-sea bridge? Are there any technical difficulties? Yes, the Gibraltar Strait is different from other straits, and it faces great technical difficulties in construction. First of all, the Gibraltar Strait is too deep. 
Although there are many cross-sea bridges in my country, and the world's longest cross-sea bridge is also in my country, the technical difficulty of cross-sea bridges is more reflected in the depth of the strait. The deepest part of the Gibraltar Strait can reach more than 1,000 meters, and there is no precedent in the world for building a bridge on a strait that is more than 1,000 meters deep. Maybe everyone has no concept of the depth of more than 1,000 meters. The deepest part of the longest Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau bridge in my country is less than 50 meters. Now everyone understands how terrible the concept of more than 1,000 meters is. At this depth, whether it is building foundations or field investigations, etc., there are huge technical difficulties. Secondly, the geological environment of Gibraltar is also very harsh. The terrain and rock types at the bottom of the Strait of Gibraltar are very complex, so earthquakes occur frequently, which is very unfriendly to the construction of bridges. The seabed is unfriendly, and the sea surface is equally bad. The Strait of Gibraltar often has big waves, ocean currents, salt spray, etc. Under such conditions, even if the bridge is barely built, the subsequent maintenance is also a problem. In addition to technical problems, are there any economic problems for the failure of the bridge to be successfully built? Of course there are. The construction of cross-sea bridges is very costly. The construction of the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge in my country cost more than 100 billion. Although the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge has driven the economic development of the surrounding area, if it is calculated simply based on the bridge toll, it will take at least 500 years for the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge to pay back, not including the maintenance costs. It was mentioned in the previous article that the deepest part of the Strait of Gibraltar is dozens of times that of the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge, and the cost of a cross-sea bridge is closely related to the difficulty, and the difficulty is closely related to the depth. Therefore, it is conservatively estimated that the cost of building the Gibraltar Strait Bridge is more than 10 times that of the Hong Kong. Zhuhai Macau Bridge, which is more than 1 trillion yuan. 1 trillion yuan is a huge gamble, and even if the Spanish local government takes it out, it will take a long time to get its money back. In addition to the above two problems, the construction of the Gibraltar Strait Bridge faces many other problems. Historically, Spain's colonial expansion was very crazy, and Spain and Morocco, which is across the sea from it, have long had territorial disputes. Although the Strait of Gibraltar is a British overseas territory, Morocco also has ownership from a geographical point of view, and Spain has always claimed sovereignty over it. Secondly, the two cities in northern Morocco, Ceuta and Melilla, are clearly in Morocco's territory but have actually been under the control of Spain. Morocco has always insisted on its sovereignty over Ceuta and Melilla, but Spain has always refused to recognize it, and the relationship between the two neighbors has become very tense. The geopolitical issues between the two places are also very acute. Morocco is not united internally, and the Western Sahara region has always had the idea of independence. Morocco has always been worried that Spain will support the independence of Western Sahara. In addition, since both countries are close to the Mediterranean and rely on the economic benefits brought by the Mediterranean, there are constant disputes over the fishery resources in the Mediterranean. Finally, the problem of illegal immigration is very common in many parts of the world, such as illegal immigration from Mexico to the United States. If African illegal immigrants want to enter Europe, the first stepping stone is from Morocco to Spain, and entering Spain means officially entering Europe.
Therefore, Morocco and Spain often negotiate over the issue of illegal immigration. To make matters worse, although both Spain and Morocco are facing terrorist attacks, they often discuss anti-terrorism-related matters together. However, the two countries often have differences in anti-terrorism policies. Spain and Morocco are almost like water and fire. It is obviously still a long way to go for the two families to shake hands and build a bridge together. Because the Strait of Gibraltar is so special, it is the closest distance from Europe to Africa. Therefore, the Strait of Gibraltar is no longer just a problem between Spain and Morocco, and the construction of the bridge needs to consider other issues. Spain is now one of the many member states of the European Union. Although the integration of the European Union has brought huge economic benefits to Spain, it also makes it impossible for Spain to make decisions completely based on its own will. Spain must not only consider its own interests when building the bridge, but also its status as a member of the European Union forces it to make concessions for the interests of its allies. Finally, as mentioned above, the Strait of Gibraltar is a British overseas territory. Not only does Spain have troops stationed here, but Britain also has military deployments in the Strait of Gibraltar. For national security reasons, Britain will not easily agree to Spain building a bridge on its own territory. Does Spain want to build a cross-sea bridge across the Strait of Gibraltar? It wants too much, but it really faces too many problems. As mentioned above, there are too many problems to build a cross-sea bridge, and they come one after another. But Spain has already made efforts for this. In recent years, the Spanish government has long negotiated with the United Kingdom on diplomatic issues, trying to resolve the sovereignty issue of the Strait of Gibraltar. If the sea surface doesn't work, can we do something under the sea? Nowadays, both Spain and Morocco fully understand the great difficulty of the cross-sea bridge, and have noticed the feasibility of the undersea tunnel. On March 8, 2023, the Spanish government issued a statement saying that it would invest 7.5 billion euros to start the Spain-Morocco undersea tunnel and set up a research institute specifically for this issue. In the face of common interests, the two countries gave up their long-standing disputes and chose mutually beneficial cooperation and win-win results. This is an important step in easing relations between the two countries. We believe that with the joint efforts of the two sides, the Strait of Gibraltar will always be unblocked one day. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.